Because we are work. on day three of our vacation. So what do you think so far? So far? Other than the fact that where we were at last night in Maryland, everything was closed. Oh yeah, that was weird. It was, was like awesome. 6 p.m. and everything was closed. In a tourist place. Yeah. Um, I would say I don't like all the people. It's way too busy. Driving's crazy. And, oh yeah. We thought we could borrow uh, our kids' car and maybe go somewhere where they're at work. Yeah, no. Not I happening. wouldn't dare to drive. Not happening. Um, and they need to be more pet friendly. Yeah, it's ridiculous. actually finding out that there's it's not as pet friendly as we thought it was going to be. I kind of told you it wasn't. But, but today's day three. We are at the Manassas. And we had to buy a stroller because our dog is so tired. See? But we are at the Manassas Hi. National... What, what did I say it was? The Manassas National, National, Battlefield, National, Battlefield, National Park. Battlefield Park. Home of two major Civil War battles. And are we going to go see the bridge? Yeah, but that's back. Weston keeps, back in, in. Weston back keeps backing out of the picture. So. <laughs> But yeah, we're we're gonna go tour the video. Civil War Park and Dude, look around. So let's go have some fun. Let's do it. Shows right here. Shows the layout of how the battle was. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Well, we were midway through our tour. We were over there at that house, and as you can see behind me, it has decided to pour rain. Let's hide under a tree. <laughs> Don't hide under trees when it's raining. Do yourself a favor. But we're trying to make it back to the car because it is coming down. Okay, I'm out of here. Well, we made it back to the car. It only started rain, right, raining right there at the end. Yeah, yeah we only, it like opened up. We rain. only walked maybe 150 yards once it started We're raining. All soaked. And we are drenched. Oh, so like, much for lunch outside in the grass. <laughs> we can eat the car though. Yeah, gonna be a pain. We're gonna go get something to eat and we will be back. Are we allowed to say where? Because I already ordered food. We're going to Cracker Barrel to get something to eat. And then we'll be back here. Because they're doing a Infantry demonstration and an artillery demonstration at 3 and 3.30. Will they still do it in the rain? That I don't know, but we're coming back. Hopefully they will. Well, we're going to double check. Yeah. So okay. We'll see you guys after lunch. God, there's... It's so humid. Your glasses are foggy. All right, well, we are back. Well, I'm back. The girls and Weston sitting in the car. They're still eating. Rain has stopped. I'm um, heading back over to where 
they do the artillery demonstration. I don't want to miss that. So they do an infantry like demo and then an artillery cannon demo. Like I say, I don't want to miss it. So we're heading back over there. I'll keep the camera aimed over that way just in case they do it while we're walking over. Fought in the summer, wearing the hot, heavy clothing, all the other gear they've got, a full canteen. A soldier could conceivably have 20 to 30 pounds of stuff on top of him while he's going through all of this. You're not going to keep three up per minute for too many minutes in a row. Most battlefields, it degenerates pretty rapidly to one bullet a minute. Also, if you've only got 40 in the box, nobody likes to run out. But if you're having to shoot off 38 rounds, it's a good bet you're taking fire. So there's other sources of supply on the ground nearby. Infantry, 800 yards, commence firing.
the peace. All right, well, that was pretty awesome. Now, this was a demonstration of the artillery used during the war. But we're gonna head back to the car now. Not sure what or where we're going, if we're just going home, gonna relax for the rest of the day. I don't know what we're doing. So, what are we doing, Wesley? You know? You know what we're doing? Are we going anywhere else? No clue, but if not, we'll either see you guys when we get home or we'll see you when we get there. So. Jennifer's with us now. She stayed with the puppy dog while we went out and watched Cannon get shot, but. I didn't want to scare her. Yeah, I didn't want to scare the dog. She's already traumatized enough with all the traveling, but we're gonna go inside here. Face masks are optional, okay. Good. We're gonna go check out what's inside here. We're going to see a bridge now that was part, a major part of the, we can't remember what the name of it is, but. Of the Manassas at this point, or something? At this point, you've either seen, it wasn't too light inside, but you may or may not have just watched a little bit of what was in there. If I put it in the video, then you watched it. If I don't put it in the video, then you didn't, didn't see it. it. It didn't make it, but we're getting in the car. We're gonna head back out this way, I believe. There's a bridge that was like a big part of the war. Huh. What? That one looks like Bauer, except for with a long tail. Oh no, never mind. Oh, saw another dog. But we're gonna get in the car and head out that way. We'll see Hi. you guys at the bridge. Cosette! Hey! Hi! Did you miss me? Hey! Did you miss me? Hi! Okay. <laughs> We now, think of what it was called. Now we're going to see the, the Stone Bridge, a war-torn landmark at the scene of the opening shots of the Battle of Manassas. First battle. First battle of Manassas and the retreat of the federal Federals from the Second Battle of Manassas. Stone Bridge witness the ebb yeah. and flow of the Union fortune and misfortune. This is nice. They got kind of a one of those like almost like a playground rubberish type pathway done right here. That's pretty nice. You can feel it give under your feet a little bit. So this is the stone bridge. One of the sites of the war. has been reconstructed, I'm sure, because all the wear and tear and weathering from that many years. But I'm sure some of this down through here is all still original. But I gotta say that I absolutely love, you've heard it before, I love all the green here. Not like all the brown back in Utah. Everything's so alive here and colorful if you like green. Let's see if we can go over to the other side of the bridge, get a view of that side. We're heading back to the car. It's starting to rain again. I don't know if you can see it on my glasses, but... I wear a sweatshirt because I'm chilly. Yeah, we come from a hotter, hotter area, so the hum between the humidity and the little cooler temperatures, we got light sweatshirts on. Well, mine's a full size and sweatshirt. She's got a full but size I'm sweatshirt on. We had a lady. We were walking up the trail back here, and had a lady that's literally walked right past and goes, "I don't know how they can wear sweatshirts in this or something like that." Like right, we're right there. But anyways, we're gonna head back to the car. We're gonna wrap this up, call it a day. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Leave us a comment down below if there's something you might want to see. We'll try to do what we can. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.
Everybody wave bye. bye. Wave bye, Weston. So good. Thank you. Bye. See you guys. Cosette forgot to say bye. Cosette, say, hey, say goodbye to the camera. Over here, look. Hey. Say goodbye. I see your tooth. <laughs>